Hello everyone, it's Jem here. I thought I'd make this little video to demonstrate what I use on a Sunday morning when I'm playing guitar, when I'm music directing, and when I'm triggering clicking tracks. This has been a video that's been requested by quite a few people who follow me, and I thought I'd just give you guys a quick little rundown of how I usually run things when I'm playing on a Sunday morning here at my home church at Come to Jesus Church. So let's start off with the guitars. I have a whole bunch of guitars to choose from when I play on a Sunday morning, but for this upcoming Sunday, I've chosen to go with these two. Starting off with one out of the four Telecasters I own from Tolvin and Guitars. This is a Sisu model uh, made with a flame maple top, mahogany back and sides, and it's loaded with the Lambertone Grinders pickups. Awesome guitar. And the other guitar I've chosen is this upcoming Nigel Hendroff Gretsch signature guitar which is coming out in August. If you want to pre-order it, it is out right now. I do not own this, this is owned by Nigel himself. This is actually prototype model number one. Um, but I've been playing it now for the last few months and it's been absolutely incredible. And in terms of my pedal board situation, I go between my Line 6 Helix and this pedal board. Um, I love them to death because I can use this direct as we pretty much do nowadays where we don't run amps on stage, we don't have any room for a cabinet at the back to run um, an ISO box. So with this pedal board, I've, for when I'm running amps and stuff, I go my HX stomp and it goes out to the interface by Goodwood Audio into the Pinstrap Pedals ISO Plus, which is an amazing ZI. And when I'm running the Helix, I'll just grab those two XLRs and plug it to the back over here and direct out and that's what I use for pedal boards. And yeah, my pedal board sounds absolutely amazing. If you want to get my presets for either the Helix or the HX Stomp, go to multitracks.com to get all the sounds that I use. And when it comes to my MD situation, I just have a, a mic which goes out to the stage box and it gets controlled by uh, Alan and Heath SQ5. And in terms of controlling our in -ears, for the musicians, we get this Allen & Heath ME1. It's amazing, absolutely love it. Now let's talk about my click and track situation. It is really simple, nothing complicated about it. Uh, my computer is just a mid-2012 MacBook Pro 15 inch which I've modified the living daylights out of. And my DAW of choice is uh, Logic Pro 10. And this is my MIDI controller which is just this Novation Launch Key Mini and the audio interface I'm using is this Roland in Opera Capture where I have three outs going into a few DI boxes out there um, two for stereo left and right for tracks and one mono click and cues if I have any cues in the tracks now I don't use tracks every week but every week I do set up having click so when I set up my click I usually just have um, a MIDI click just, I just choose an orchestral kit and use two different click sounds um, from an orchestra kit, which is amazing. And with the tracks, all these tracks are from multitracks.com and I can pretty much go to whatever section I want with the MIDI controller and I can loop a section or skip a section depending on where I am or what the worship leader wants to do with the song. So, for example, all I gotta do is trigger this out Press play. Godzilla. Yep, there's our Intro, song. Two, three, four. And there we go. Now one of the things that I always do when I set up my tracks is I have a safety click. Just in case if anything goes wrong with the track, I can just skip to this place and it will play a click loop in that tempo that we were playing the track on so that everyone stays on time. So if you're doing tracks, make sure to have a safety click set up just in case. But that's what I do. Yeah, <laughs> that is how I run my click and tracks and my MD and play guitar here at Country Jesus Church. So I hope this helped you out and yeah, hope it inspires you and inspires your church for your click and track situation and music directing if you're getting into that. So, peace out.